Hi, I'm Mike Thompson. In this video, I'm going to show you just how easy it is to solder your own copper pipe. I just installed this air dryer and had to make this whole new copper manifold to blend in with the old system. Now, a guy told me a long time ago how to solder copper pipe. I had never done it before. I'm going to show you just how easy it is to actually do this. It's a whole lot of fun. I had no idea how much fun it would be, and it's actually super easy. And after 35 or 40 joints or so, I think I got quite good. I think you guys are really going to enjoy this. Let me show you how I did it and just how easy it is to solder your own copper pipe. You'll need your parts, some copper pipe flux and sandpaper, pipe solder, thread sealant maybe, a pipe brush, a tubing cutter, a deburring tool probably, and a whole bunch of fittings. You'll also need a torch. I'm making an isolation manifold for a refrigerated air dryer that I need to install. I'll have my valve set up like this so that I can isolate the air dryer from the system if I need to do maintenance on it. So once you cut your tubing, it'll have burrs inside that you'll need to get rid of. For that, I like to use this style of deburring tool. It's got a hooked blade that you just run around the inside of a pipe a couple of times to smooth the edges. Your pipe brush might have a deburring plate like this one does, and you could just use that to deburr as you brush your pipe. But I like the deburring tool better. I make sure that all the dirt and oxide is removed from the outside of the pipe and the inside of the fittings. A couple of spins with the brush makes quick work of it. A shiny copper pipe is a good pipe. The male portion of the brush cleans and shines up the inside of the fittings. Then I brush the flux on the shiny portion of the pipe. The flux prepares the pipe to receive the solder and helps make a good connection. I also apply flux to the inside of the fitting. I like to solder vertically if possible with my fitting on the bottom. This way gravity is in my favor and will help pull the solder in place and create a nice looking connection. I use the torch to heat the pipe as evenly as I can. And when the flux starts bubbling up, I begin to gently tap my solder to the connection every so often to see if it's hot enough. I don't want to make it any hotter than necessary. The solder will then flow into the joint and I can steer it around the pipe by heating it in front of where I want it to go. Capillary action pulls the solder down into the joint and I try to use just enough to create a nice filleted joint. If you have to do this horizontally, be careful with your solder or you'll have drips or a big blob on the bottom and you'll have to sand and file it down to make it look pretty. So this is why I watch my joint closely and only use what's needed to fill the gap. If you've ever wondered why transformer power flashes are green, it's because copper burns green. Pretty cool, huh? Ah, the last connection. I just slowly work my way around and dab the solder where it's needed steering the puddle with the flame. This manifold will join the rest of the system at the two unions at each end. Be careful when you design systems because you frequently won't be able to tighten a threaded connection because of some odd geometry. This final connection came after about six hours of hard thinking, math, and soldering. But it was one of the more fun things that I've tackled. I also like to wipe away the excess ugly black flux while it's still hot. It's easier that way. And it'll look like that. Now that it's in place, a quick shot of soapy water will allow me to see any bubbling leaks. And there aren't any. There were 30 soldered connections in all and no rework was necessary due to all the time I spent doing pipe math. I actually think it looks better than the pro job that I attached it to, and I'm quite proud of myself. Well, now that the project is done, you can see just how easy it really is. Unfortunately, copper is rather expensive, so I won't be able to do this a whole lot. But I'm happy to report that on my first attempt at uh, sweating my own copper pipes, not a single joint leaked. That shows you just how easy this really is, and gosh, it's an awful lot of fun. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm Mike Thompson, and thanks for watching. I really appreciate it.